Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me showing you how you can secure your wig on your head as well as keep your edges or protect your edges without using any type of gel, tape, or glue. This is a really simple technique to use on any type of wig regardless if you're wearing a lace frontal wig, lace closure wig, or a full lace wig. Now I use this method every time I put on my wigs. Now I will be demonstrating how to apply or sew in an elastic band into a lace closure wig as well as a lace frontal wig. Now the placement of the elastic band is uh, is different depending on if you wear a closure wig or a frontal wig and I will show you guys both techniques. Um, if you have any questions or comments leave them down below. We're going to get right into this tutorial. Make sure you guys go ahead and click the subscribe button up at the top so you can stay up to date on all my videos and then also make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay so the first tutorial will be how to apply an elastic band inside your lace closure wigs. Now the supplies that you will need is uh, a pair of scissors, your needle and thread, your measuring tape, your lace closure wig, and of course your elastic band. Now the elastic band that I always use is from Amazon and I have it in the color black. It is an elastic spool. Uh, I got the inch is like 1.5 inches or one and a half inches and you get 11 yards and it's only $7.99 you guys which is a really really good deal. Now the wig that I will be using to demonstrate the elastic band technique is one of my personal wigs. This is a uh, silk, actually a silk based closure uh, wig which I do not like <laughs> at all but this is like one of the only wigs that I did not install an elastic band in. If you guys are interested in ordering this wig I do have it available on my website but yeah so I did make this bob wig on a dome cap. Now the key to make sure that your wig does not move slip slide or anything like that this is a key very important point you guys you need to make sure that the wig that you make or the wig that you purchase fits your head you need to make sure that it is the exact measurement of your head circumference if it's not the when you install the elastic band your wig might be too small or it still might be too big or too loose now my head circumference measurement is a 21 and a half but when I made this lace closure or silk based closure wig I actually made it on a 22 inch head circumference wig block okay now this wig does fit perfect to my head but I still want a more snug fit and that is the reason why you need to install or I am going to install the elastic band. The first step that you need to do is to go ahead and apply your wig onto your head. Now since this is a lace closure or a silk based closure wig what you want to do is actually find where exactly your lace closure or silk based closure ends and you can use a eyeliner pencil or a pen and you want to mark where the ends are onto your wig cap. The second step is to take your measuring tape and you what you want to do is you want to place your measuring tape on the two marks that you uh, made onto your wig cap. Now you want to start either the left or the right side of your head and you want to place the beginning of the measuring tape where that first mark is and then you want to go around your head to the other side and you want to make that measurement. Now with me my measurement is 17 inches. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and begin to cut my elastic band. Now I am not going to cut my elastic band 17 inches long. I'm actually going to take one and a half to two inches off. So basically my elastic band should now be 15 inches long and not 17 inches long. And this will make sure that when I sew in the elastic band inside my wig and I place the wig on my head 
the wig will fit very very comfortable as well as very snug the next step that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and begin sewing your elastic band inside your wig now what you're going to need is of course your elastic band as well as your needle and thread and as you guys can see I've already got my needle already threaded so I'm going to place one side of the elastic band inside my wig and begin to sew now I'm basically using the traditional sew sewing technique I'm not using any fancy sew technique it's just basically to the traditional one and I'm sewing very close together so each stitch is very close together and once I finish on one side then I'm going to go ahead and finish and sew the uh, other side of the elastic band inside my wig Now the next tutorial that I'm going to show you is how to install an elastic band in your lace frontal wig. Now you can use the same uh, technique for a full lace wig as well. So what you want to do first is to take your measurements and basically what you're, the measurements that you're going to take is your ear to ear measurements. You're going to make sure that you place your measuring tape at the very front of your ear and then you're going to wrap it around the behind your neck or behind your head basically and you're going to wrap it to the other side. Now the measurement that that I have is about 12 inches. After you get your measurement, the next step that you want to do is go ahead and cut your elastic band. Now, I would suggest that you take about two to three inches off before you cut off your elastic band from your measurement. So like I stated before, my measurement is 12. So what I'm going to do is probably take uh, cut my elastic band at 10 inches or nine and a half inches. After you cut your elastic band, you're going to go ahead and begin to sew the elastic band inside your lace frontal or full lace wig. Now the placement of your elastic band inside your lace frontal wig will be different from where you place it in your lace closure wig. Now where I place mine is, is right at the ear tabs of the lace frontal wig. So basically what you want to do is sew down one side of the elastic band at the ear your left or right ear tab it doesn't matter which side that you choose and begin to sew use the same sew technique the traditional sew technique it works the best or it works just as good as any other sew technique you want to sew on one side and then once you sew your elastic band on one side you want to sew on the other side and then you're finished
that is basically it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it as well as learned something from this video if you like it definitely give it a thumbs up um so yeah basically this is the technique that i use to secure all my wigs my lace frontal full lace wigs as well as uh lace closure wigs and as you guys can see i do this to all of my wigs i go ahead and install the elastic band and i'm good to go um i really do not like i stated before i really do not use um the got to be gel anymore because i just don't like the fact that you have to you know clean your hairline up i just like to basically whip off my wigs if i want to and just put them on back and forth and not have to do anything else so I just want to say thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.